Recently, the repricing software called Aura came out with an amazing new feature that I am just loving right now for my Amazon business, which is called the Age of Inventory Workflow. And I actually covered this with uh, an interview that I did with a co-founder of Aura, Dylan Carter, just a couple weeks ago, as of the time of this recording anyway. And we covered how important this is, how impactful it is, because Amazon is a cash flow business, meaning that you need to be bringing in as much money as you possibly can from your sales so that you can keep up the capital outlay for all of the different outflows that you have in your business for inventory, software, etc. And so if you set up an age of inventory workflow in your repricer, this helps you to liquidate inventory as it is getting older in your Amazon account. Now there are other repricing tools that have similar features, but today I specifically want to show you how to utilize auras and how to set it up because this is the repricer that I use and I really love this new feature here. So let me go ahead and share my screen to show you what this looks like if you're interested in getting this set up in your own account. Now first you do need to have a few different strategies set up. Now I actually have three different strategies at this point set up into my Aura account here. And I'll zoom in so you can see what we've got. So first you want to make sure to have a basic repricer setting that applies to all of your inventory. Now I actually set this up utilizing their AI repricing uh, called Maven. So you can see here there's a type this Aura AI utilizes Maven. Now I do have minimum prices here of 0% return on investment. And so that's why I call it 0% minimum ROI. But the reason I do that is because it's kind of one of the suggestions that uh, Aura gives if you're utilizing their Maven AI tool to make sure that it has enough room to maximize profitability. What I've found with Aura specifically is that I'm able to get more profits using Maven AI because it actually is pricing up higher typically. And so it's kind of a, uh, a cool feature. And so I just trust the software at that point. If you don't trust it and you want to have a minimum ROI of 10% or 20%, totally fine. But ultimately utilize kind of a, a regular strategy that you would apply to all of your different products. Make sure that you have the repricing software turned on so that anytime a new product is added into your Amazon account, that it starts repricing that inventory as soon as you upload costs. So this is kind of the basic one. So whatever your repricing strategy is that you want applied to everything, make sure to have that set up. The next one that you want is kind of more of a buy box targeting. So this is a rule based repricing tool instead of the uh, Aura uh, Maven AI. And so whenever you have a buy box targeting, you're just aggressively going after the buy box instead of trying to maximize profit, which is what the Maven AI is attempting to do whenever you set it up this way. So if you're going to maximize sales at this point, you want to start targeting the buy box. Now, the reason you need this one set up is because if you're looking at age of inventory workflows, as your inventory starts to age past 30, 45 days or so, then you want to be more aggressive in getting that product sold. So then you get the cash back to reinvest into other products, right? And so you want to be more aggressively uh, targeting the buy box in these scenarios. And then the third one is a liquidation strategy. So this is where you have your minimum uh, uh, return on investment as low as you want to make it, you are going to be trying to price below the buy box in some cases. And so this is much more aggressive so that you can start maximizing sales just so you can get your capital back. If you have your capital tied up at Amazon for months and months on end and it's not selling, then you need to make sure that you start liquidating and get that product out of your inventory so that then you can reinvest your capital and other things. So you want these three strategies so that then you can set it up in a way that's much more targeted and the workflow can start to actually work for you so that you don't have to work worry about when do I need to switch my uh, specific products from a regular repricing strategy to targeting the buy box? Or when do I need to switch to liquidation strategies? This tool will do it for you. And I love that because I don't have to worry about it. This is basically another employee of mine at this point, switching my products to different repricing strategies at the set intervals that I want it to do. So let's talk about how to set this up properly, right? Because not only do we want it to go into a more aggressive strategy, but we also want it to go back into the less aggressive strategy as soon as the uh, inventory is sold out and maybe you send some more new inventory in, you want it to go back to the less aggressive strategy to hopefully maximize profits at that point. We all know that prices change on Amazon every day. And so this is a very impactful thing to make sure that you get set up in the right way so that then you can start making more profits in the future. So we have these three strategies set up. You could set up more if you want to, or if you have different parameters, you could also set up some for FBM strategies and other things. But specifically, these are the three that I have set up in my account. Now, sometimes I believe Aura does also give you kind of of a, an out of the box solution with uh, a liquidation strategy, a buy box targeting strategy, and a Maven AI strategy. But ultimately, if you don't have that in your account, you'll need to set these up. So the other thing that you can do is go to learn about strategies here. If you click on this and you can see that Aura has a nice little help center that shows the, uh, how does the lowest FBA then buy box competition work, how to create a liquidation strategy. So it gives you some more step-by-step -step instructions there and how to set a def default strategy and do that. So definitely check out the strategies here and you should be good to go. So now that 
that we've set up our strategies, we need to then set up our workflows. So if you come over to the workflows section here, you can see that there are two that I already have in here. The very first one is a new ASINs set strategy and enable repricing strategy. So this is for any new listings that come into my Aura account. I want to make sure that it is setting my strategy first and foremost, and then it is also enabling the repricing features on my uh, inventory. So that way I don't have to come in every day or every week and turn on repricing. The tool will do that for me as long as I upload costs and it can you know, uh, set up my mins and maxes for me because of that as well. You do get two workflows on a more basic account. You can get more than that on a much more advanced account if you decided to uh, upgrade, but ultimately two workflows is all you need. So if you're a newer seller or a more experienced seller, these two workflows are really all that you need to kind of automate your repricing because of these features. Now I'll quickly go through the new ASIN set strategy. So essentially a workflow, you would want to uh, click into here. You can set up a new workflow, but ultimately you want this uh, event that would trigger it. You would click add event. And then for this one specifically, I selected new listing. And so automate your workflow when a new listing is added to Aura. Then you'd click that and click continue. After you do that and you have the new listing set up here, you can go into the workflow. Now for me, I put set strategy. So anytime a new product comes into my Aura account, it sets to my broad strategy. Now for me, that's titled a 0% min ROI. It's that Maven AI strategy there. I'm going to click cancel. But then also toggle repricing, you want that to be enabled. You turn on the toggle repricing ability and you click enabled and it's going to reprice or start repricing all of your inventory. Now you can do that by clicking this little plus sign here. You can select set strategy. You can then select toggle repricing. So those are the two that you would need to get started with workflows in your account. Now, after you've set up this first workflow, then the next thing you'll want to go into is setting up your age of inventory workflows. Now, this is the impactful one that will help you to liquidate products as they are getting older and older into your account. So to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and click into this. Now you want to click on add event under the events section, and you're going to select schedule. Now, whenever you select schedule, you want it to run typically hourly. I try to do it as fast as possible so that let's say I sell out of an item and you know, it was an old item and it liquidated and I sold out of it. Well, I want it to as fast as possible, move me back to a much more profitable repricing strategy so that I'm not liquidating new inventory. I'm only liquidating the old stuff. So I have it running as fast as I can make it, which I believe right now is hourly on every day of the week. So you would click on add event. You would then click on schedule. You click continue here. And then weekly, I would actually change this to every hour and seven days a week. And you would click on add here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click cancel because I've already done that in my account. Now, after you've set up your schedule for this age of inventory workflow, now you need to tell the tool what it is that you want it to do in your account. So you would click on workflow here, and then you can set up these two different things. One is a filter block. And the next one is underneath that filter block, a specific strategy. So for me personally, and this is however you want to set it up. But for me personally, this filter block is going to be filtering by the age of inventory that I want a certain strategy to relate to. And so for instance, I'm going to set up first my newest inventory. And what strategy do I want to apply to the new inventory? Then second, in this second filter block here, I'm going to set up the uh, mid range uh, inventory age, which may be getting a little bit older, but I want to start targeting the buy box more than maximizing my profits. And then lastly, it's going to be a filter block for the really old inventory, or at least what's old in my opinion, for the purposes of my business, and then setting that strategy to liquidation. And so to do that, you would click on this plus sign down here, you would then click on filter block, you would click continue, and you would click on filter by age of inventory. Now I have it, I believe at more than one unit. So if there's one unit that's really old, I want to start repricing to get rid of that unit. And so if I were to send this to more than one unit here, and then I would adjust this to maybe zero to 30 days for my profit uh, driven strategy. And if I wanted it to be buy box driven, then I would just select 31 to 60 days. And then if I wanted liquidation, I would select the rest of these, right? But if you have multiple strategies, maybe you want it to be even more tailored and more specific, you could set up three, four or five different inventory workflows or different uh, strategies that apply to your inventory age at different points. But ultimately, this is one way to do it. Another way that you can do it is instead of more than one unit, you could do uh, more than a percentage of your inventory, or you could even do less than or equal to but ultimately, I think for the purposes of this, you're going to do more than a specific unit count, or more than a specific percentage of your inventory. Now, when I'm going to click cancel here is I already have these filter blocks set up. But you can see in this one specifically, I have more than one unit from zero to 30 days. Now after I do that, I want to make sure to then click on this plus sign. And then I'm going to select on set strategy, and then click continue. And then I can select which strategy I want. So for the first one, I'm using my broad profit focused strategy. So that is the 0% minimum ROI. And then after I do that, it's going to actually populate it over here, and you need to move it. So I can move this over here, right? This is how it's going to look. And then I need to move it 
underneath this filter block so that then the workflow understands that for this particular filter, I need to set this strategy. And for this particular filter, I need to set this strategy. And for this one, set this one. And so here you can see that I filtered my age of inventory zero to 30 days. I want it to be a, more uh, profit driven. Then after this, for the filter by age of inventory, I've set this up for 31 to 60 days. And I want it to be more buy box targeting in this case. And then I set up this one for anything over 61 days, 61 to 365 plus days. And then I set it to liquidation in this case. And so this is how I have set up all of my workflows. So now, as we've discussed, I've been able to ultimately uh, set up my repricer to turn on repricing at this 0% minimum ROI strategy for the uh, Maven AI strategies. I'm able to set that up so that any new listings that come through, it's handled by the software. Then after that, it starts to reprice and change my strategies, become more aggressive as my inventory needs to be liquidated so I can get that capital back. Ultimately, this is a huge benefit as an Amazon seller because no longer do I have to have an employee come in and double check all of those repricing strategies and double check how old is this inventory and how, how fast is it selling and do I need to liquidate or set it to a different strategy? I don't need to do that anymore. And so this is a beautiful addition to Aura and their repricing strategies. Now, a couple things that I wanna make sure to mention, if you're a newer seller and you're trying to figure out, do I even need a repricer? I highly recommend getting one. Aura does have an early stage program for any seller under 10K per month. It's only $27 per month. You get access to these workflows and other things. And so you can check that out at askjimmysmith.com forward slash Aura. And that will take you to the page that has information on the early stage program and their regular pricing. Now, ultimately these workflows are great and they help to automate a lot of the repricing that I need to do in my business or that I would typically have somebody else do in my business. But there's still an element of needing to reprice your repricer from time to time. You still want to come in, even if the liquidation strategy isn't working and products aren't selling, maybe you need to reduce your minimum price for those products to get it even lower so you can start getting capital back. Maybe you just need to recall that inventory. There's still things you need to do to manage the inventory properly. This takes a huge amount of workload off of you and you can just come in and check on things that really aren't selling or check on things that may need a different minimum price or different maximum price to be much more competitive in the marketplace. Now, if you have any questions, please post them down below. As always, I do these videos because I want to help people to grow and scale their businesses and to become financially free for anybody that's trying to spend more time with their families. And ultimately, if you're somebody that's looking to grow and scale your business with over 100 standard operating procedures for Amazon and also into Walmart, eBay, and other platforms, I recommend applying for my business building legends community at askjimmysmith.com forward slash legends. Ultimately, this is a great place for any motivated and advanced sellers to grow and scale. And we have systems, community, discounts, and so much more to help you grow in your Amazon and other e-commerce businesses. I hope this video helped you and blessed you and you have a great rest of your day and a blessed rest of your week.